Hello Internet, Parag Dhawan here. In this video, we will see how to perform various operations on Panda series using series object methods and attributes. In the first example, we will see whether the series object is empty or not using empty attribute. So in the first cell, we are creating an empty series by using pd.series function. This will create an empty series and store it in SE variable. We will print SE variable on the user screen. It is a series object which is an empty series. We are checking whether the object is empty or not. So we are printing a statement on the user screen, print is the object empty. And then we are calling object name dot member access operator dot empty attribute. So this will return a value true or false. If the series object is empty, then it, this will return a value true. If it is not empty, then it will return a value false. In this case, SE object is empty. Therefore, when you run print SE dot empty, it will return a value true. Therefore, output is true. In the next cell, we are creating a Panda series S2 with random numbers. So of the NP module, we call random inside the random sub module, we call the rand function to create four random numbers. And we provide them indexes using index is equal to in square bracket 11, 12, 13, 14. So we provide them integer indexes 11, 12, 13, 14. The series will be created stored in S2. When we print S2, you can see there are four random numbers. For this, we have to import numpy as NP. So import numpy as NP. You can see four random numbers were created between zero and one. First index was 11, second index was 12, third index was 13, and fourth index was 14. So series is a labeled array. So what axis attribute will do? Axis attribute will return a list of uh, labels. So list of row labels. Here row labels are 11, 12, 13, 14. So axis will return a list containing 11, 12, 13, 14. So S2 dot axis equation mark will return uh, help on axis attribute of object S2. What does it return? Return a list of row axis labels. So in the next cell, we print. Print the axis R, S2 dot axis. Click on the cell and run the cell. It returns 11, 12, 13, 40. So using the ending method, we get the dimension of the series. So how to get the dimension of the series for for getting the dimension of the series we have ending attribute so in the first cell we are creating a panda series containing element one two three four and indices of that element index is equal to in opening and closing square bracket a b c d e so a get a index one b get a index two c get a index three d get a index four and e get a index five stored in S, S will act as a panda series. If we print it on the user screen, A is one, B is two, C is three, four, D is four, and A is five. Data type of the series is integer 64. If you want to get the dimension of the series, then you can call series object ending attribute. So print S dot ending will give the dimension of the panda series. In this case, it is containing one dimension. So printing the dimension of the object output is one. Now, moving to the next part, how to get the size, that is number of elements in the series. So you have for the Panda series object attribute size, which will give the size of the series. We are creating a series containing element one, two, three, four, and index six of those elements are A, B, C, D, E. So PD dot series in opening and closing parentheses, we pass a list of element one, two, three, four, five, and indexes of those element A, B, C, D, E. We print S on the user screen. You have A1, B2, C3, D4, E5, where A, B, C, D, E are indices and one, two, three, four, five are elements present inside the series. If you want to get the 
number of elements then using the panda series object we call the size attribute as dot size how many elements are there 1 2 3 4 5 5 elements are there so after running this cell we will get output as 5 so print the series object and the object has element 5 how to get the actual values of series so series object has a uh, attributes values which will give the actual values of the series so s is the series which is already created present with us with element 1 2 3 4 5 if you want to get the values of the series we will run s dot member access operator and the attribute values click on the cell and run the cell this will return values as a list 1 2 3 4 5 now getting top and elements of the series for this we use a head method so s dot head here we are passing argument 2 it will return first two elements of the panda series so first two elements 1 2 indexes are a and b if you don't pass any argument it will print the first five element of the series 1 2 3 4 5 so here we will pass the argument 2 it will return the first two element getting the last n element of the panda series in that case you can run tail method series object dot tail inside it you can pass argument here s dot tail will return the last two values of the panda series s click on the cell and run the cell the last two elements are 4 and 5 index as d and e if we don't pass any argument it will print last five values which are 1 2 3 4 5 so pass the argument to and get the last two values using the tell method that's it about various operations which can be performed on panda series we started with series dot empty attribute which checks whether the series is empty or not and it returns true or false value then we studied axis attribute it returns a list of row indices then we studied endim attribute which returns the dimension of the series then we studied size attribute which returns the number of element of the series then we start studied values attribute which will return actual values of the series and then we studied head and tail method head will return top and values and tail will return last and values if you pass an argument to head and tail method top that argument elements of the series are written so if you pass two top two rows will be returned and if you pass uh, you don't pass any argument top five rows by head then head method will be written and if we don't pass any argument to the tail method last five rows of the panda series will be written that's it for this video thank you thanks for watching do hit that subscribe button for more such technical content See you in the next video.